Our next company is Territorium. <laughs> All right. Are those your relatives? Are those your relatives? Oh, my co-founder and a good friend. Okay. You need this and this. And where are you from? I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Nice place, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, judges, you ready? Okay, off we go. Have you ever had a teacher that told you lies in a class, and the next day you had a test, and then the whole class failed <laughs> that test? Because she told you lies on purpose. It sounds completely weird, but it happened to Gerardo and me when we were in high school. That's what I told my teacher in that moment. However, I believe that she's an angel, because she taught us a great lesson that the best way of learning is not only by hearing a teacher or watching content and then having a test. Students were not engaged. Students were not interested with the class. Students only wanted to pass the test. We are not looking for students that want to pass the test. We are looking for students that will solve the problems of tomorrow. That's why we need to work on project-based learning, where there is a real-world connection. There is learning ownership and we challenge the students. This will lead to engagement and will lead to the achievers that we need for the future. Territorium is a gamified social network for education in which teachers and uh, schools could launch challenges inside our platform. Also, students could create teams and collaborate inside these teams and manage their project with their teacher. They will be recognized for their accomplishments in their projects and also, they will receive badges that are related to the abilities that they are developing. We also give tools for schools and teachers from rubrics and assessments related to these projects, and we have a parent community so that parents could receive notifications of the accomplishments of their kids. We have public schools in Mexico uh, uh, that students went 20% better in their national test of mathematics using our platform. And we have 90% adoption rate in less than one week. This is our team. We are 19 people in Territorium. Our processes are certified by ESO, so we are ready to scale. This is my co-founder, Gerardo Sainz. Uh, he is our CTO, a he's an award-winning software, software developer in Canada. My name is Guillermo Lizondo. I'm CEO and co-founder, and I love solving problems related to education. Our business model is a software-as-a-service model, and we charge a subscription per user per month. Uh, we work with the schools, with universities and corporations. This is how it's divided. And we have 100,000 users, paid users worldwide. Uh, we have $800,000 of annual income and we have positive EBITDA. So we are profitable. Uh, some of our clients, Tech de Monterrey, Johnson & Johnson, PepsiCo, and 35 K-12 private schools in Mexico. Uh, we are looking for partners and synergies in America to get easily to our clients and investing in our freemium model so we will, we will get easier paid clients. Uh, we work in Latin America with IBM and Dell since this year to get to big clients and government clients. And we have accomplished this in three years. We have grown to 100,000 paid users. We have grown our company 20 times. Just imagine what we can do with great American synergies and investors. Thank you. Can you talk a little bit more? I'm just a little confused about the platform. It looks like some kind of adaptive learning, giving immediate feedback. Can you just, just give us a little bit more on the, yeah. uh, on the widget here? It's principally a, a, a project-based learning platform uh -huh. where you learn challenges for students. Uh, it also helps you to give assessments to the students related to that project and those activities that they do. Uh, and also, as they win budgets, it's gamified. They Is win it budgets. content agnostic, so that doesn't matter the... Yeah. Subject area, just more project-based learning in general? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. What is the cost? Yeah, the cost is about 80 cents uh, of the dollar per user per month. And so, but the product also, you have a lot, of, so you, you have some school, K-12 schools, and then you have some university clients, and you also have some higher, uh, I mean, you have some corporate, corporate clients. Yeah. So... How are you meeting all of these different people's needs, or how does this, how does it work? Yeah, uh, we have a module also on the platform, like an LMS, uh, that also helps on corporate. Uh, but mostly it's the same platform, but they're launch projects uh, in 
for the corporation, they launch projects on universities, and they launch projects on, on K-12. The only difference is the content, but uh, it depends on, on the school on, or on the corporation. So, so I guess how does this platform um, increase student outcomes? Yeah, uh, we have this example uh, with 2,000 students in public schools in Mexico. Uh, they went better 20% on their national tests of, of mathematics, that's in K-12. Uh, there's a test called in Mexico called Enlace. And uh, in, also in universities, uh, we have a, a great experience with Tech de Monterrey. It's a, it was an entrepreneurial challenge, and it was all the, the activities that the students do, or the, all the classes that they have, they made a challenge of entrepreneurs. Uh, it's not like an outcome uh, on the learning, but also w what we found is that students engage more with the platform with this type of study. Like a normal entrepreneurial class, they were like 30 minutes inside our platform every day. And with a project-based class, they were like about three hours during a month each day in our platform. Got it. But is it, is it different than any other LMS system out there today? Yeah. The big difference is how we work with, with projects. Uh, we have like all the project management area. And also uh, the big difference is how we measure students. We are not only measure their grades, but we measure like the abilities automatically, uh, depending on what they are doing on that project. So, and these abilities are badges for them, like, like gamify badges. What's, uh, what's, the, what's the revenue breakdown between K-12 universities and yeah. corporations? 45% uh, is K-12. That, so that chart was a revenue yeah, breakdown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the challenges, I think, is in, in the K-12 area is that um, not all schools use project-based learning, and, and, uh, and if they do, it might be one class, you know, one teacher with one class, or a couple teachers and so the school will look at this and they'll they may already have an LMS solution yeah. or an, you know another kind of uh, administrative uh, student information system depends on what they're doing so they might say you know am I going to invest in this for a few teachers of course I would say yes you should you know but um, <laughs> so I'm wondering if um, how it could integrate with other products or maybe that could be kind of a future, you know, thinking that would enable schools to invest in it in, in, in conjunction with some of the other kind of administrative tools that they have. Because it's, it's, it's content-less, right? Yeah. So the teacher's the one who's populating it and the, and the kids with, through doing the projects, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh I have two answers for this. The, the first one is uh, we integrate uh, with other, with other uh, uh, tools, uh, from administrative tools to LMS. Uh, if only one class or two class you are using project-based learning, uh, you could use our platform and pay for those users. Uh, in some schools, they have decided to change their LMS uh, for making this, like, this change to working on projects and making uh, uh, kids more engaged with, with their classes. Mm -hmm. To yeah. try to use this to ch as a change agent. <laughs> to yeah, change they, they the pedagogy. Trying, yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. they also need some, some help, like training. And, and sure. we, we are working with partners in Mexico for that, also with, with universities. Yeah, that's great. Um, could you provide, there's a question from the audience. Can you provide an example of a project that was completed through your program? Yeah, uh, I, I told about the, the entrepreneurial challenge in, in Tech de Monterrey. There were 12,000 students uh, nationwide uh, in the several campus. Each student uh, needed to create a project and they, uh, in like the Gantt diagram, they developed that, that project. They had a mentor, an entrepreneur mentor that connect with them and they communicate to our platform. And a very interesting thing, when they execute their project, uh, they got about, they were like $500,000 uh, of revenue, and they, they, the, the university donated that to social causes. That, that's an example of a 
big problem. <laughs> We're going to take a selfie well, during your pitch. In okay. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, for this South by Southwest, I'm going to take a picture of everybody who takes a picture of me. Oh, and I'm going to post that. So, <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to... This is so meta. I just... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.